So where is True Global Ventures at when it comes to investing in AI startups? Do we invest in the category? Traditionally, we actually started investing in uh, AI companies in 2011. So this is not our first foray into AI investments. Uh, myself, uh, I think back in 2008, I started an AI ML company, which basically looked at social media and, and crawled the social media to understand the sentiments of what people were saying on brands, on policies in different areas. So from that experience, as well as from the investment perspective, we've been investing in this, in this space for some time now. Of course, now with the acceleration of uh, AI awareness due to generative AI, these are uh, areas that we really, really want to look at. So like, for example, uh, we have legal AI, where we use AI to basically look at contracts and basically make it more efficient to see whether the lawyers are, need to basically look at the, the, the legal contracts or not. So it helps them reduce costs, reduce time, basically to save them money right, and, and, and resources. The second part is, of course, we, we just talked about education AI, which is basically how do we actually use AI to disrupt education? How do we help educators generate more content very quickly as relevant to the students? And then another area is revenue AI, basically using uh, AI to help corporates to do better revenue. What are people saying online that could signal your salespeople to basically close better, right? So that's what we call revenue AI. And then things like code-related AI on your development front, how do you uh, enable your, your programmers who are maybe not ex as experienced as a CTO or maybe a, a very uh, experienced programmer? How do you get them to a point where they become much better at, at coding, right? So basically code reduction, code optimization, things that basically make them even more efficient in coding itself. So we think all these have a material impact on productivity and also not just productivity, but it also helps some of these companies to have more revenue streams. Now that we have done a lot on the generative AI side, and I think I see where your, your point of view is going, are you going to think about also looking at anything within the enterprise AI space as well? For sure. Okay. I, I think I think the end, the, I mean, for us as, as a fund, we, we mostly invest into uh, B2B, right? So, so corporate as well as um, uh, B, sometimes B2B2C, but mostly B2B. So definitely we think that, that enterprise AI is, is a space that is very interesting to us.